I was not in a position to choose whether I want to be um, an artist or actor or astronaut or mathematician or linguist or lawyer. That's, that's not an option when you're not free because you fight for life and death. And that's how I and that's how everybody in my generation became politically active. We were fighting for, for freedom. It was a very painful war. Uh, in 1999, one million people were deported from their homes. Thousands, 20,000 of women were raped. So I was a refugee uh, along with one million Kosovars. And I was amongst the lucky ones because I survived. Although it was difficult, it was painful. Uh, I was separated from my parents. We managed to survive and reunite. When I was a young girl, uh, being politically active was a way of survival. It was not a choice. We didn't have the option <laughs> to dream and to, to choose what we want to become. I, when you're oppressed, when you're not free, you don't have options but to fight first for freedom because freedom is precondition for creation of any other value. After we, we got um, free, we realized that survival is not the only worry. You have roads to build, schools to construct, uh, laws to adopt, you have to uh, build everything from the scratch. And how can you do that if you don't involve women? We are half of the population. How can you build peace if you exclude half of the population?